Yo, what is going on guys? It's Ruin Steel here and wow, it's been a while since I've done my last video. I want to apologize. It's been up and down, you know, I've been super busy with stuff and I just want to let you guys know that this is just going to be a little update video. There's a lot of stuff I want to get off my chest in this video. I also, I haven't done, as you can see, I'm wearing a Steelers jersey. Um, I haven't done a Steelers video in like forever. Um, I think my last Steelers video is I believe um, the Steelers got eliminated from the playoffs. I think I did a little video. I can't remember. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done a video. But anyways, getting into this video, I want to talk about the Steelers. I want to talk about the Celtics. Uh, I want to talk about the Bruins. I did say in my previous video that I will be doing videos of the Celtics, the Bruins, but Right now, I just want to talk about um, what's going on in the future and what videos are coming. Um, honestly, it's just been busy. But if you guys haven't um, checked out my update post on Facebook, my um, YouTube Facebook post, and my um, actual YouTube community um, post, um, I am going to Portland, Maine for five days with three of my friends. Um, obviously, you know them. The first guy is Canadian Yorker. He's been in all, most of my videos. He's been a Canadian Yorker. He's going to be coming along with me. He's going to be coming along on the trip with me. You obviously know him. Um, he's been in um, just all of my videos, most of my videos. So I can't wait for that. Uh, my friend Jason, um, he's also a great friend of mine. Known him since middle school. He's also coming to the Portland, Maine trip with me. And um, Canadian Yorker as well. And my other friend, you see him um, show up for the first time in my couple of my friends' videos. Um, his name is Joey. Um, I actually, he's a great friend of mine I met um, at my job. So, uh, when we had a job, he no longer works there, but he, um, when I started working there, he, um, I, met, I met him, we talked, we became good friends. He also will be joining us for this main trip, so it's just going to be me, my friend Joey, um, Canadian Yorker, and Jason. Um, Brian and Trevor, obviously, they can't make the trip. Um, there's just a reason of that. I don't want to say it on camera, but um, August. 17th to the 22nd, I believe, I don't remember, um, I'll be in Portland, Maine with those guys, and I will be blogging, so um, around that time, or a couple days after those, um, the trip, expect a blog from me, I'm going to be blogging on the trip, um, we rented this nice Airbnb, um, I can't wait to tour it, um, I can't wait to show you guys, and I can't wait to show you what we'll be doing in Portland, Maine, so that's coming in a four weeks. Or five weeks I don't know um, but anyway that's gonna be a, a, a huge blog video I'm gonna be uploading on YouTube um, my Portland main trip with the guys and I can't wait um, um, I do want to talk about um, obviously like I said in this video I want to talk about the Steelers the Celtics and the Bruins so I want to start with the Steelers but right now DJ Walt right here why not um, so the Steelers, um, it's just, it's just, look, great. Kenny Pickett, Kenny Pickett, that was his rookie year. I'm not going to blame him for the shit and the mistakes that he made as a rookie. You know, he's entering his second year. He's, Kenny Pickett, no doubt, is going to be our starting quarterback. Um, obviously, we, um, um, obviously, we um, needed some, you know, depth in there, you know, Kenny Pickett, we probably were, um, we needed to find a, there was a chance that, you know, Mason Rudolph was going to leave, there was a chance that Mitch Brubisky, <laughs> I, I don't understand, ugh, why did we keep this douchebag, Mitch Brubisky is coming back for another season, and I just hope, I just fucking hope, you know, at this point, I prefer that Mason Rudolph be the second string quarterback after Mitch Rubisky. Mitch Rubisky is straight up trash. And on top of that, we fucking um, brought back Matt fucking Canada. <laughs> Why? This guy is trash. Mitch Rubisky and Matt Canada are both garbage ass fucking dudes. They don't know how to do their job. <laughs> we're fucked. With Matt Canada, we're fucked. But anyways, um... Obviously, um, going into this draft, um, obviously the NFL draft was um, um, this 
off season and great look we we um we picked up some really good players um i feel more omar khan did a great job during the draft um you know this is an unbelievable draft in my own opinion um it's that's just that. So I just want to give a um a review or a um a um I want I want to just get a recap of the draft because I look I don't really do videos on the draft but you know we obviously last season at last draft we got Kenny Pick first round pick overall um uh, um just um a just a recap of this year's draft um at number one we picked offensive tackle. Roderick Jones from Georgia. Um, this guy is unbelievable. I'm I'm looking forward for this guy to play. Um, second pick, round two, overall pick, cornerback, Joey Porter Jr. Penn State. This is a pick that I love. This is an absolute pick that I love. As you don't know, um, he is the son. He is the distant son of the old kind great Joey Porter. That won the Super won the Steelers the Super Bowl back in a couple years ago, um, back in um, two thousand and seven. Um, he is the son of would well, you know the, no other than Joey Porter. I love this pick. I was unbelievable. Um, also in the second round we picked Keenan Pettin. He is a uh, ITL Wisconsin. Um, also great pick. He's unbelievable. I've seen highlights of him in college. Um, round three. Oh my God! Probably the best pick in the draft. We picked tight end Darnold Washington from Georgia. This guy is a beast. I believe this guy is six foot eight. Um, he's a beast, man. And he actually was considered the best blocking tight end in the entire draft. Like, oh my God. Um, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see him action. Uh, and round number four, we picked up the linebacker, outside linebacker, Nick Herbig from Wisconsin. And round seven, we got cornerback, Corny Trist Jr. And number seven, OG, um, offensive guard, Spencer Anderson from Maryland. That's the draft, guys. Unbelievable. Um, you know, I, I love these guys. I can't wait to see what, um, you know, what in store for these guys um i do believe i think we actually um i think we actually picked up a tight i think we actually picked up a wide receiver in a draft um so give me one second um the tight the, the tight end of Darrell washington was a definitely a steal um you know let me see here tight, uh, I, i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we picked up a wide receiver as well. Um, unless that was last. Let me see. Roderick Jones. Um, but anyway, that's just that. Um, you know, Steelers schedule came out. Um, I didn't do a prediction um, video of what the rec what my Steelers record is going to be. I'm probably going to do a video moving forward. I say that, but I'm just so busy, guys. I apologize. But um, I don't want to talk about the Steelers too much. Um, that's just that. There's a lot of shit that happened in the offseason I probably missed. Um, I should have done a video earlier, but that's on me. Anyways, moving on. I want to talk about, obviously, my Bruins. Obviously, um, the Celtics. Obviously, um, failing to win the Stanley Cup, and the Boston Bruins season was just an absolute letdown and embarrassment. Um, obviously, going into the playoffs as the President's Trophy winners, um, probably the most points in unbelievable regular season, um, just to choke a 3-1 lead um, against the Florida Panthers. Um, it just, it was horrible. Up 3-1 in the series and just absolute choke. Um, not go miss, don't get me wrong, the Florida Panthers are an unbelievable team. Um, looking at them, they made, all the way, they made it all the way to the Stanley Cup. Um, and obviously, um, condolence to Florida on beating us. That's just insane. Um, and obviously, the big story with the Bruins um, is that it's been possibly that it was going to be Patrice Bergeron's last 
um, she, uh, game last game, game seven against Florida, where we chose it was possibly said that it was going to be Patrice Bergeron's last game at the Bruin. Um, you know, obviously I love Patrice Bergeron, but there's rumors now that he might come back. Oh, people are like, oh, I caught Patrice Bergeron working out. You know, isn't that what they do? Even though they're retired, they still work out. But we have to see if um, we have to see what the extent is for Patrice Bergeron. So that's just that. Um, obviously, um, there's questions. David um, David Krejci might um, retire um, as well, so that's gonna be hurting us as well. Um, and a big story, man. I, I I have to talk to this heart to heart, Milan Lucci. He's back, baby. Bruin fans, you obviously know who Milan Lucci is. He was a great Bruin for us back in 2011 when he won the cup for us. He was a monster. He was unbelievable. Um, and then he got traded away. And now, oh my God, he has signed a one contract deal with us. And now he's back, baby. Milan Lucci was an absolute beast. And hopefully, um, one last time as a Bruin, um, obviously, um, you know, ever since the Dillacharo retired, I thought he was maybe going to, maybe a chance there was going to be a comeback. Um, but he, we, he did sign a contract with us for one day so he can retire as a Bruin. Um, Chara, I miss him. But Milan Lucci is coming back as a Bruin. Um, unbelievable. Um, it, it just, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, and obviously, um, there's, there were some players that we had to get rid of. Um, obviously, the number one guy that I just really enjoyed playing that's no longer on the team is Taylor Hall. Um, Taylor Hall, I, he was unbelievable. Um, you know, I, it just, it, it just, it just, it just, it just, um, it's just sad. And Taylor Hall was unbelievable for this team. Um, and that, that's just that. Um, I believe there were some other um, players that were traded away. I just can't think of them right now. Um, but anyways, oh yeah, Tyler um, Bertrose, he we got him from the Red Wings. He was unbelievable. He's leaving. Um, but this Bruins team, man, we were the President's Trophy winner. It's cursed, by the way. But, um, you know, hats off to the Florida Panthers for getting the job done. What a... It was a complete upset. It was just a choke job on my Bruins. The last time the Bruins ever choked the 3-1 lead was against the Flyers back in 2010. Um, we haven't choked the 3-1 series um, at all since then, so it's crazy. Um, it's sad. My heart was aching. It was disappointing. Um, and obviously, um, the Golden Las Vegas Golden Knights um, won their first Stanley Cup. Um, I want to give a Huge congratulations to the Vegas Knights um, on winning their first Stanley Cup. Wow, a franchise that hasn't been around, um, a new franchise that just started in 2018, I believe, and they won their first Stanley Cup. Like, holy moly. But anyway, stop talking about the Bruins. Uh, this video is getting long. I want to talk about my Boston Celtics. Um, obviously, the expectations um, making the Eastern Conference Finals, I thought we were going to you know, make the finals, but obviously, um, we came short in Game 7, we got absolutely demolished by Miami Heat, um, obviously, Miami Heat and Boston have been a rivalry moving forward throughout the years, um, as me, I don't hate the Miami Heat, they earned that win, they have a great team, and the, the crazy about it is they made the finals as, what, the 8th seed or the ninth seed, they were in a play-in tournament, for God's sake, <laughs> And this team defeated the number one seed, Milwaukee Bucks. Um, they did all that without Tyler Hero. Um, and obviously, respect to them. Um, their head coach, respect to them. I've been watching their head coach for so long. His name is Erica Saul something. I can't remember. He's an unbelievable coach. Um, but obviously, they came short in the finals against Denver. And oh my God, that's, that's just what we need to see. Teams winning the um, championship that they never won. Denver Nuggets won their first NBA title. Oh my God! Congratulations to you guys. Any Denver Nugget fans watching this video, congratulations on your NBA title. It's well deserved. Well deserved. Unbelievable. Um, Denver was the team to beat, and no one could do it. 
Um, maybe my Celtics could have. We could have. I wouldn't mind to see a Celtics in Denver final. That would have been unbelievable. Um, you know, it, it just as that. It, talking about a little bit of the offseason, the Celtics, obviously a big story. Obviously a big trade that shocked people. Even the player itself shocked them. Um, Marcus Smart has been a warrior for the Celtics. Uh, Marcus Smart, we got rid of Marcus Smart, um, you know, and he's heading to Memphis. Um, we got rid of Grant Williams, who's heading to Dallas. I'm going to miss those two. I love Grant Williams. I love Don Marcus Smart, um, Defensive Player of the Year, two years in a row, I believe it was. Uh, I'm going to miss Marcus Smart, and I'm going to miss um, Grant Williams. Um, you know, players leaving all over the place, man. But, um, you know, in exchange for that trade, Marcus Smart trade, we um, get, I think his name is Chris. Chris Pugga, he's also known as the Unicorn, but I'm not going to get too deep it, but that's just that, um, there's nothing too much about, um, I don't know if I'm going to do any videos before my main trip, like I said, um, I'm going to Maine, Portland, Maine with three of my buddies, um, expect the blog, um, so yeah, anyways, I'm not going to talk too much, um, sorry for the late update video, or video, whatever, it's been a while since I, like, you know, uploaded the video and stuff like that, but anyways, I'm Bruce Gill. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching.